Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you a message from your inner nerd. Yes darling, we are all everything. We're multi-dimensional beings and anything that exists, exists inside of us. For those of you who are new to my channel, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are life-size fabric sculptures that I created myself. As I was making my dolls child, they started talking to me with all kind of messages which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, which is a very steamy, sizzling, hot, romantic, mythological study, uh, mythological series about human evolvement. Yes. The book series led to the oracle cards that I created based on each one of my doll's personalities. Child, these dolls are magical. Hello darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink butterfly, this reading is for you from your inner nerd. After we go over the cards, I am going to give you a message from the beautiful Jade Alien Being for an additional message from your inner nerd. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is if you think you know everything, you have nothing else to learn. <laughs> Talking about pulling in some serious inner nerd energy, right? Your inner nerd is telling you, dude, go take a class. Go take, um, you know, do, learn something new, read some books, get a mentor, get a coach. But, uh, yeah, you know, whatever it is that you're uh, thinking about, your inner nerd is saying, you need to go learn some more information about that. You don't know everything about that. The next message I have for you from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby's message to you is, you have the courage to stand up for yourself. This is, oh my God. 
this hand is cracking me up. So when you think of a nerd, you usually think of this kid who has, you know, all or the person, an adult who have a lot of information. And a lot of times people don't respect them because they, you know, people, we make fun of nerds. We make like nerd because this person is knowledgeable and they are interested in a variety of topics and they do a lot of research. But this hand is saying, one, you need to continue to learn, but you also need to like stand up for yourself. Don't let people look down on you because you have a large vocabulary or because you know a lot about science or the body or whatever it is. It's telling you like your inner nerd is saying, stand up for me. Like I don't want to be picked on anymore. Like this is it. Yes, we're nerd. Yes, we're smart. Yes, we are intelligent. And yes, we have a lot of information, but uh, we need to be respected. So your inner nerd also has a message from you. <gasps> we pull in some strong chubby energy, which is your third chakra, which is your power center, your self worth, your self esteem. But let me see what she says. Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi has a message from you, from your inner nerd, and that message is, oh my goodness, some friends are really enemies, and some enemies are really friends. Listen. There are some people in your life who really want you to embrace your nerd self and you probably can't stand them because you're thinking like, look, look, I want to be the cool kid. I want to be a person that other people like and respect and, you know, I don't want to just be seen with you. You know what I'm saying? We have people who really, we don't want to be around them because they connect with that inner nerd. Don't you have your nerd group? you're kind of like ashamed to be with them because it's like you don't want people to think you're that nerdy well those are your friends and those people who really um kind of want you to like you know maybe try something new and stop being such a nerd and why don't you come and hang out and why don't you do this or do that those people may not just be your friends your inner nerd is saying embrace the nerdy friends they are really your friends and find a group of people with who are like-minded who like to play games or who want to study you know botany who want to whatever it is the inner nerd wants to grow and learn and it wants you to stand up for that part of yourself the next card and the final card i have from you from from your inner nerd is from jungle beauty goddess katara and jungle beauty goddess katara's message to you is your calling is what you answer to. Oh my God. Listen. This card has a lot of meanings. Your calling is what you answer to. One, sometimes people feel like, well, if somebody call you Dumbo, well, you're only Dumbo if you say, huh? If you answer to Dumbo, that makes you Dumbo, but you're not Dumbo if you don't answer to Dumbo. So... Your inner nerd is saying, stop answering to people looking down on you or people calling you a nerd. Like, listen, your inner nerd wants you to take pride in being this knowledgeable person who is interested in a variety of topics, who is um, maybe not so cool, but it's, just, but it's fun to be around. But if you are around the people who cherish and respect your inner nerd. Your inner nerd wants you to stand up. So we're going to see what message we have from the beautiful Jade alien being for you. From your inner nerd. What additional? First, thank you for coming. I'm sorry, sometimes I forget, but these are some beautiful beings. What message do you have for this person from their inner nerd? People are always afraid of people who do not fit inside of a box, who are always looking to expand and grow and learn new things. People are more comfortable with people who are predictable and who remain the same. When people see that you are growing and learning, they look at themselves differently and they feel inadequate. So please remember that when people call you names or when people call you a nerd or when people call you a know-it-all 
or when people tell you to put down the book or to stop learning or to stop growing. What they're really saying is that you make me feel bad about who I am because I don't have any interest because I am not growing, I am not evolving, I am not pushing myself to expand my knowledge base. They are making fun of you because they really don't like who they are. So please embrace the part of you that cherishes and enjoys learning, that enjoys taking on new hobbies. This part of you is to be honored. It is the nerds who have changed the world through medical technology. All of the greatest changes in society have been created by nerds. So celebrate this part of you and keep growing. That was such a cool message. Thank you. Wasn't that a cool message? Try your inner nerd is like stand up for me. Keep learning because you don't know everything. Don't listen to people. Don't you you are what you answer to and we are not a negative thing. We are a wonderful thing. I really hope this message from your inner nerd um, help you. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the lavender butterfly to hear the message from your inner nerd, this reading is for you. I also have a message from you from the blue adventuring alien being at the end of your reading. So the first card I have for you from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is, think about it. Oh, I can't believe it. What is it that you need to think about? Your truth, what it is you want. Oh, I'm sorry. When you get the card that says think about it, which represents your throat chakra, it means that there is something on your spirit that you are not giving enough attention to. There's something that, that you need to, when I, listen, whatever, let's say whether it's a relationship or a job or whatever it is, your inner nerd wants you to give it more thought, to give, to contemplate, to meditate on that topic. So if I were you, I would get like a piece of lapis lazuli, which is really good for your throat chakra. This is, I think this is lapis lazuli. Um, also, any blue gemstone in general, um, and really meditate and think about whatever is, whatever is bothering you, whatever is weighing on your spirit, you need to think about it. You need to think it through. The next card I have from you from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and it says love is the only thing worth fighting for. You have an interesting hand from your inner nerd. You're pulling in a heart chakra, you're pulling in your throat chakra which is telling you you need to think about it. I don't know what's going on with you. Let's finish these cards and see what's going on with your inner nerd. The next card I have from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And she says, you can create whatever you want. Yes. And the last card I have for you from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you is, believe in love. My God, it's so beautiful, believe in love. Your inner nerve is telling you that there is somebody for you who's gonna love you just the way you are and that you should really believe in love and that, oh, this is so amazing. I'm sorry. Listen, I don't know if you are watching the current season uh, married at first sight but there is a, a couple who they are very awkward and they 
but they found each other through the show and they didn't have to be somebody else to find love your inner nerve is saying love is the only thing worth fighting for so if there is somebody in your life who you are contemplating or you are worried about your inner nerve is telling you to hang in there and fight for love your inner nerve is said listen it says you got two cards your inner nerve is like love child your inner nerve is saying look Love is the only thing worth fighting for. Okay? So, it's okay to be who you are, but love is a very special thing. It's, it's, you know, you know, if you're awkward, if you are not like everybody else, there is someone for you. It says believe in love. Believe in love. Child, any card that tells you to believe in love, you, you just gotta know love is on the way if it's not already here you can create whatever you want so this hand collectively is saying it really wants you to think about i think whoever selected this hand the message is one of you may think that no one is going to love you the way you are there may be somebody in your life and you're not sure how they feel about you and or, or you're just wondering if you know being a nerd being who you are are you going to be able to attract somebody who can accept you this hand is saying listen if you if there is someone in your life right now that you um you know that you're thinking about I, this is good this is this is a good omen um you can create whatever you want you have the power to attract the love that you deserve your inner nerve is saying look we don't just create and you know we don't just need to work on hobbies and books and and you know and science we also deserve love and that you are going to get the love that you deserve your hand says fight for love and it says believe in love it's clear as day your inner nerve is saying yes one for the we are going to be loved for who we are and there is somebody in the energy field who is going to accept all of your nerdiness so let me see what the message is from the adventure ring thank you for coming so what is an additional message we have for this person from their inner nerd their inner nerd Do not ignore your emotions. You have found a way to think emotions are for people or for lesser beings. But it is okay to love. Connect with your emotions and your emotions, the feelings that you're uncomfortable with, the butterflies in your stomach, the person you think about before you go to sleep at night. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved. The feelings of love is not just for people who are not as intelligent as you are. Love is for everyone. Let your emotions come through. Let your feelings come through. And you will find the love that you are seeking. Wow. That is the message your inner nerd have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the yellow butterfly, this reading is for you from your inner nerd. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you the message from the Indian Agate Star Alien Being, the additional message. So let's see what your cards say first. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is don't take your physical experience for granted. 
your inner nerve child is saying, listen, there's nothing like a good book, but there's nothing like going swimming or going for a hike or, you know, getting, you know, using this body to do some other things. That's what your inner nerve is saying to you. The next message I have from you from your inner nerve is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message to you is creativity is not a special gift. You are a creator. So basically, sometimes people think that, oh, you know, because I can like, you know, make like robots and I can do all of these things. It is letting you know that your creativity is a part of your divine beingness. That you came to this planet to create. Whether you're creating life or you're creating a chair or you're creating a doll or a book or a, anything. You are a creator and that's just a part of your package not just for nerds your inner nerve just wants you to know that you know this, this is a part of our divine package and it is actually normal for us to want to create things the next card i have for you from your inner nerd is from jungle beauty goddess chalby and jungle beauty goddess chalby's message to you is "Ooh, stop playing the victim child mm -mm -mm. this is always a card we're pulling in our third chakra and when it says we're playing the victim, it just means that we might feel like, well, why is everybody picking on me because I'm an inner nerd or because, well, because I'm a nerd, because I finished my work or because I'm organized or because I'm smart or because I finished school or because I'm, I get things done. It's like, it's telling you who cares what other people, don't play the victim. Don't, you know, don't give in to what other people think about you. What other people think about you, it's absolutely none of your business. Be proud of who you are. You are a creator. That is a gift that you were born with, and you are a person who is utilizing that gift, whether you're baking cookies or cakes, whether you're making YouTube videos or writing a book, whether you are making, um, you know, candles, whatever it is that you're doing, you are really good at it but what could be holding you back from excelling is that you kind of your inner nerd is saying you care what other people think but actually you are doing what you were born to do i have one more card for you from your inner nerd for pulling in jungle beauty goddess katara and jungle beauty goddess katara's message to you is your is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA. Wow. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you straight up. This is what this hand is saying. You have a gift. You are in denial of your gift. You're not utilizing your gift. Like I think maybe you might be the kind of person who like to build Legos or you might like to create dolls or you might like to sew. You like to make things. But you really... Um, yeah, you're not, you're, you're kind of wasting your gift. Mm -hmm. Your inner nerd is saying that you should stop playing the victim and pretending that you don't have this gift of create creating. Like there's something amazing you know how to do. I don't know what it is, but there's something amazing you know how to do, but you're suppressing it because you're trying to fit in with the world and be like everybody else. Your inner nerd is saying creativity is not a special gift. You are a creator. So it's not that there's something weird or awkward or crazy about you. You are a creator. We were born to create, whether it's clothes, whether it's a cookie, whether it's a doll, whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's a child. Human beings came to this planet to create. But what I'm picking up from this hand is it says, don't take your physical experience for granted. You are taking your gift for granted. Is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? Listen, if you have a gift for making guitars, but you aren't making those guitars, then you have signed up for a mission for a, your earth suit has a mission. You're not completing that mission. And therefore you are 
and how do I say this? You are hurting your descendants. You're hurting your future, not just for your maybe your future relatives, but for your your future in general. Because if we don't utilize our gifts, which means we're not taking ourselves to the next level. So your inner nerd is saying you need to embrace your inner nerd. You need to stop playing the victim. Stop acting like oh, you know, I don't want to spend my time making you know ceramics i don't want to spend my time writing a book and know you know it's going to be hard for people to read it you know i don't want to get myself caught up in all of this you know i see people everybody and their daddy got a channel and the channels are not excelling and people things aren't working it says stop playing a victim and get on with the get on and use your gifts because it's what you came here to do is to create your inner nerd wants you to acknowledge it so now i'm going to um listen to the message from the Indian agate to see what message, additional message they have for you from your inner nerd. First, thank you for coming. Yes. What additional message do you have for this person from their inner nerd? Think back to when you were a child. What did you love to do? There was something that you loved to do that you have put aside that you no longer believe in. Start small. You don't need to spend a lot of money or a lot of time, but we do want you to connect with your inner child. Between the ages of five and 10, there was something you loved. Re-event, reinvent this time period. Reinvent the movies, the toys, the games, the cereal, the candy, all of your favorite things between the ages of five and 10. Find the thing that you love and start creating them now. This will bring so much joy into your life when you start using your hands again, using your mind again, having fun again. Your inner nerd is really the part of you that was always curious about how the world is run. Connect to that part of you so that your life can move forward in ways that will amaze you. That is the message from your star alien being additional message. I really hope this message from your inner nerd helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the orange butterfly, this message is for you from your inner nerd. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you an additional message from this beautiful iron tiger, tiger iron skull. So first, let me go over the cards. I'm so excited. What is the message from your inner nerd? The first card I have for you it's from Jungle Beauty Guys so far. And her message to you is from your inner nerd. Bring your dreams to life. Let's see what else. Bring your dreams to life. What other card do you need, y'all? The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message from your inner nerd says, Spontaneity is the cure for everything. Yeah, you just really got to do it. I'm telling you, don't wait for a better camera. Don't wait to, you know, like say you want to write a book. Just do it. Don't wait. Just If you wanted to go back to school, just start a community college. Just pay for one class at a time and get on a payment plan. Whatever it is that's on your heart, 
whatever it is you want to do i just i'm you know what spirit is saying do it now do it now do it now your inner nerve is saying do it do it do it okay the next card i have for you from your message from your inner nerd is from jungle beauty goddess namib and her message to you is close your eyes to see the truth listen to silence to hear the answer Mm -mm -mm. close your eyes to see the truth what is it that's on your spirit what is it what message you need to just shut out the world and focus in on your spirit and find out what it is your heart really wants you to accomplish right now shut the world down meditate one of the things you can do now this is a lie but you can take in a breath like holding your breath to the count of nine like one two three four five six seven eight nine try to hold it in hold it to the count of nine and blow it out to the count of nine do that ten times okay and then you want to put your tongue at the top of your mouth okay? and blow <laughs> blow from your belly and do that a hundred times and then you want to sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes shut the world out now for me personally answers don't come to me right away they usually come the next day and they usually come when I'm walking in nature so if there is a park nearby walk through the park get with the trees get in nature usually once I meditate and I'm quiet and then I isolate myself the it always comes to me like it's some little quiet voice, like something so quiet. So the spirit is telling you to, to isolate yourself. If you can find a way to just turn off your phone, don't watch television, just really get within yourself so you can figure out what it is you want to do with your life. That's what, that's what, um, figure it out and get on with it so you can bring a dream to life. And let me see what the last card is for you. The last card I have for you from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is, life is a mystery, embrace your feminine mystique. Now let me tell you about this card. This is a very, very interesting card. Your feminine mystique is a part of us that is, it has to be comfortable in a state of ambiguity, ambiguity. I'm not sure how you pronounce the word. But you know how sometimes people feel like, well, when you... Like let's say you want to get a degree and all right you sign up for this class and then after you finish this class you sign up for this class well when you embrace your friend of mystique it means that you are embracing the part of you that you may decide well i'm going to go take a ceramics class and i'm going to make ceramics but then you may not stop there but it may be a piece of the puzzle you're comfortable with working with um maybe i'm going to take a writing class maybe i'll just go and try this job don't whatever move you are about to make the cards are telling me trust the process trust ambiguity trust not knowing but you need to move so sometimes we feel like we need a definite direction or we feel like okay well i don't want to just drive on the freeway and not really know where i'm going but the universe is telling you that you really do need to get going. And even if you hate that writing class, there is still something that you needed to learn. You need to make that first video. You need to see if you really want to bake cupcakes. You need to really see if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer. But trust the process. Trust not knowing. Trust the mystique of life. Okay? So I'm going to see what um, message we have from the Tiger Iron. This is actually one of my favorite skulls. This is so beautiful. Let's see what message they have for you from your inner nerd. So what additional message do you have for this person from their inner nerd? Be patient. There are a lot of curves. There are a lot of 
what may appear to be blocked opportunities and doors, but don't be discouraged because you are not meant to go in that direction. The journey that you're on to self-discovery, to connect with your inner nerd, for some people it is a direct route. They know exactly what it is they came to do. But for you, there are very there are pieces along the way that you need to understand about yourself, about the world, and about other people. Sometimes people are not spiritually and psychologically ready for their biggest dreams. They have lessons to learn about trusting other people, about relationships, about personal discipline, about tenacity. And all we are saying to you right now is that we want you to trust the journey. We don't want you to get discouraged if things don't work out right away. If you feel that the universe is not immediately co-signing your endeavor. Don't think that you're doing the wrong thing. Don't think that you're moving in the wrong direction. We want you to keep moving. We want you to keep trying. We want you to believe in yourself and know that this path is a path of self-discovery and there's layers and layers to figuring out who you are and to embrace the inner nerd in you which is really the part of you that's responsible for learning continuously. Don't forget to continue to learn. Don't forget to keep turning pages. Don't forget to look for new opportunities. And soon you will find the path that you're meant to be on. Silence your self-doubt and silence other people who would tell you that you should just go and take on a field or an endeavor that is not suited for you. Believe in yourself and trust the journey of not knowing at this juncture. Keep going and within a year or so, reevaluate where you are. Okay. Thank you so much for this message. So that is the message from your inner nerd. I know that it wasn't like, oh, here, go this, be a baker, do this and take on this, you know, but I think that sometimes, yeah, the route to self-discovery can be a little amb ambiguous, but we should still keep moving and that is the most important message. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.